It's like that, y'all, and that's a fact, y'all. Hey, we back again. Slime's broke ass low budget show. Today I got a very special guest. Half of Chicago got a crush on her, half of my friends got a crush on her. Some call her the Drill Queen, Drillery Clinton. I know her as the sophisticated Katie Got Benz. Katie! Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Open it up. Like, I know you hot. I thought you might have passed out. I, 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 think I, I didn't hear no. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Everybody don't do I need to do that. No, nah, you good. It's perfect. <laughs> I feel like I got Beyonce up here. So it's better than Beyonce. I'm starstruck and shit. Oh, shit yeah. crazy. Don't be starstruck. I'm human like you. I'm going to have to light up my shit so I can, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't light up no Reggie when I'm right here. Mm -mm. Come on, man. <laughs> I got the fire OG. I'm allergic to that Reggie. Oh. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. We got flies in. It's, mm -mm. it's the broke ass show. You feel me? <laughs> it's dirty in here. We got. You want some henny? I got fresh bottle. No, cause it's fresh. fresh cause I, you feel me? You is you not a fucking gentleman. Seal. You know, just I am a gentleman. Look. No, you supposed to pour it. I was just presenting the cup first to see what you wanted. Did you want the bottle or the cup? See, cause I'm giving you a choice. You feel me? I ain't even gonna get on no selfish shit right <laughs> now. I'm just going to hit. Alright now what all you right, want? Right. I gotta ask you this question because I got the Uncle Remus on 47th now. <laughs> Harold's or Uncle Remus? Yeah. Which one? Harold's. 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 What about Popeyes though? Harold's. Still? Ain't nothing like mouse sauce and hot sauce with two hot peppers you. on the side. I feel you, but <laughs> I fucked around and got some Popeyes last week. Ate that shit like five times. Last week. It don't ever taste the same when you go back. True. And all the Popeyes don't have honey, so. Right. The one on 47 don't got no honey. The Boy. one on 35th don't need, they got jelly. Mm-hmm. And then Great their biscuits jelly. be hard. Exactly. <laughs> I'd be so bad when that shit happened to me. Y'all go on Sunday, though, I'll be cracking on Sunday. Tuesdays and Thursdays, too. Or when people be getting their SSI checks. When did you start rapping? Oh, uh, well, I, I, I've been around the music industry, like, my whole life, like, producers and writers and all of that. I'm family members, but I started in 2011 in the summertime. I heard you was in school before that. You was, like, a biology major. Yeah, I ain't even make it. She only did one semester and quit. Oh, true. College not for me. What you was trying to do, though? You was trying to be a doctor? Was I was trying, trying to be an anesthesiologist. Damn, so what they had y'all doing? He was like looking at dead bodies and shit. I didn't even make it that far. I did uh, one true. semester. You read Fifty Shades of Grey? Somewhat. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Shotters and Belly. Damn, I was going to ask you Belly or Paid in Full, but I guess they answered that question, don't it? Belly. All day long. Real shit. I was going to ask you what you got dropping next. I'm, I'm dropping Jewelry Clean for it like a point like maybe before Drillery Clinton dropped or something like when did you when was like the big points and the big shifts in your process uh well every tape every track I do I grow as an artist and a writer with bands and hitters I wasn't really taking it serious like if I go in the studio I just be focused on trying to finish a track doing one tape and the quality of it will be horrible and it was like, once I listened to the tape, it helped me grow. Like, And I'm like, I don't care if I got to redo the part over a hundred times until I'm feeling it. Because I know if I'm feeling it, the people going to feel it. But as far as the writing process goes, you know, music is all about feeling. So when you listen to a beat, however you feel or whatever you want to talk about or whatever is on your mind, that's how you're going to go. The police wife. <laughs> you feel me? Fuck the state. This ain't Vlad. Nah. My favorite strip club <laughs> is Magic City in Atlanta, or uh, do I like do I like KLD? I don't know. But Magic City, it'd be live in that or Onyx. I used to work at the factory. Yeah. It's a petty question. What's the uh, what's the pettiest shit you ever did? 
That maybe you want to apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> Walk past my some of my people who did some fuck shit like why they was lame and going to club. Cause I'm not a petty. <laughs> you just left That's me in just, line. Yep. She and y'all pay to go in the club on a regular night and it won't pay to go buy a ticket to support me, so pay your money. What if it's sold out? It ain't got shit to do with me. They better call the <laughs> promoters. You know, these you hoes be out here fucking the promoters, call them. I was actually a fan that keep harassing me, DMing me on Instagram. Like, she keep trying to talk to me and oh, then she so keep asking girl. me like every... Other week, like, can I eat your pussy? Mm. So that means you probably liking everybody DM asking them. I turn down talk, you know. Oh, you know what? I ain't got time for this. I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, that's like mm -mm. my pet fly. You know what I'm saying? Rufus. Well, why he ain't laying on you and buzzing your ear? He, he be with me all the time. You he know what do. Katie got bands. Like, he don't know me. He don't know nothing He's about me. Trying to see what's up. Oh, Jesus, you know what? When your show get to popping, you need to get some air. It's 100 degrees yeah. outside. I ain't know it's going to be leather. this hot. It's been like 60 all week. You know, They're going to be calling me Sister Leather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you not sweating. I'm hot as hell. How do you not know? Jeez, if you hot, I'm hot. We in the same facility. Do niggas be intimidated and shit when you, when you try to get in a relationship? What? Do niggas be intimidated Of by course. You? Cause you're an artist, of or course. Or just cause you, you? Cause I'm me. What you do about that? What's up? I'm Trev. I mean, I already know I'm gonna get chose, but I'm here for a chance for a date with Katie Gabbard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like we already meant to be anyway, so this should be like a month. Like, Slice of pie or whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm Delon from the south side. And I heard Katie went like a dread head drill or something like that. I did this for her. I mean, take me better. Future Shop. I'd like to introduce our young bachelorette, Miss Katie Gant Bands, legendary rapper from Chicago, Illinois. And brought to you, sponsored by Bob's Nails and Bales Emporium. Thank you. I, um, Miss Got Bands should choose me, Bob, because, uh, for one, I am a business owner and an entrepreneur, and, uh, I think I would make uh, Miss Scott Bands very really happy. If we went on a date, where would you take me? Hello? Well, I can't go everywhere, so we just we probably get some hair ups, you know what I'm saying? Hey, oh. if you could sing me one song, what would it be and can you sing to me now? Sing it like that. I make it towards you. Cold oh. <laughs> Cold Next. <laughs> if you um, were an animal, what would you be? Well, personally, I would think I would have to go with my natural instincts and be a dog. Bye. Next. <laughs> I was a ramen and noodle. Ramen noodle. How would you cook me? I'll just rip your ass out the pack and just go to work. <laughs> Fuck the sauce. He might can stay out of there. If we went on a vacation, where would you take me? Indiana County. Bye. This right. Next. What's the weirdest thing you ever done for money? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the weirdest thing I ever done for money? I would say, uh, in my beginning days, I think I sold yams out the back of my car. Okay, bye bye. I fuck with yams. Describe your perfect woman. 
Well, I think <clears throat> I would have to describe my perfect woman as uh, having nice brown eyes, um. Next, contestant two, describe your perfect woman. A woman that may or may not have recently woke up out of a coma, so she can't talk. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> contestant three. A woman, shit. Ain't nothing else I can say about that. Oh my gosh, what did you find this me? Next! Why should I be chosen? I would say because I am an entrepreneur and I think uh, I would be able to support you in the style that you would be accustomed to and would uh, appreciate. Okay, contestant two. Um, Why should you be chosen? Because Slime said he was going to pay for the day if I chose. <laughs> Next! Contestant 3, why should you get chosen? Because I'm the chosen one. Okay, I like that answer. Contestant 1, who is the baddest bitch on earth? I have to say... Hmm, Beyonce. Bye. Contestant 2, who is the baddest bitch on earth? I know I'm supposed to say you, so... You gotta hit me out though. <laughs> Trina came out before you, so her, huh? but then Katie got this. Contestant three. Thank you. Katie! <laughs> oh my bad. Do you eat ass? Contestant one? Yes, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like groceries, baby. <laughs> Okay, contestant two, do no, you need that? No. Contestant no. three? No, I ain't never been to Brown Town. That's, that's not my mom. <laughs> contestant one, come out. <laughs> oh, yes, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> contestant two, what it do? <laughs> Pop out! I was gonna say pop out. I'm sorry, but I froze up because I was looking at your ass. Contestant three, let me see. Fuck 12, fuck the state. You fuck around run for uh, president. Oh, you, you ain't really a fan. Or you ain't what? do your homework. Where do you think Hillary Clinton came from? I, I know Hillary that. Clinton, my peoples. Mm. It's usually be a rat. Where the rat at? I'm playing. Nah, I don't fuck a rat. I don't fuck a rat neither. Not the peoples or the animals. Or, or the animals. He might. Don't try to push no button to have no red fly back. <laughs> 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 nah, nah we ain't got no budget for that. You been smoking this little shit for a long time. <laughs> I asked you, bitch, you go to hell. Nah, no. but I'm just saying. Paper burn fast and seal, that's why I'm smoking. But I put the front toe in it and slow it down. Oh, okay, that's why I'm... Mm -hmm. That's why I'm coughing and shit. You pretending. You, you trying to get your brain gas. <laughs> <laughs> we over here smoking Reggie. Nah, you smoking Reggie. <laughs> I ain't never did no interview <laughs> this ghetto where I could really be myself. I like this. I want to come You feel me? Yes. Yeah. You feel me? It's your girl Katie Gabbins. I just had an interview. I just interviewed my homie right here. This is the ghetto show. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Katie Gabbins with a Z. Follow me on Snapchat. Katie Gabbins with a Z22. Download the new music link in my bio. Shout out to Bob Backwoods and M's. We need something from y'all. Give us some free Hennessy. And Bel Air, free dope, free smoke. Mm -hmm. Hennessy actually is raw as fuck. They actually fuck with artists. Like, they do? Yeah, I was out. What well, do you know how many I spend with them? Exactly. But Patron or me Hennessey. too. It's like that, yo, and that's a fact, yo. It's like that, yo.